Welcome back to KTN Prime. Controversy is brewing between some 10,000 squatters and the Missouri Land Trust following a court ruling that requires the squatters to vacate land which it found to be rightfully belonging to the trust. Well, the government was seeking to repeal the ownership of the land from the Masruis and instead allocate it to the squatters, but the court has ordered that the government first compensate the trust if it is to take ownership of the 2,916 acres of land. For the kind of weather experience at the coast, Helena Mwaka is grateful for a bumper harvest for the season just ended. She will be able to feed her six children. The remnants of that harvest still strewn all over her compound at Kayanda village in Takaundu, Kilifi County. She does not waste any time getting right back to prepare her shamba for the next planting season. Though it's a season filled with many uncertainties following a court order that requires her and some 10,000 families to vacate this land, which the court found as rightfully owned by the Masri Lands Trust, which went to court contesting the government's attempt to take ownership of the 2,916 acres of land from them and instead have it allocated to Helena and the rest of the squatters here. But from the look of things, it's going to be a long battle before the Masris can settle in. <laughs> It's a court battle that began in 1991 between the government and the Masruis, but one that the locals claim has been on for a period shorter than the time they have inhabited this land, having buried their ancestors here, some claiming to have already been issued with allotment letters before they can get their title deeds. Sina nafasi ya kwamba ni sema kwamba taondoka ma vipi lakini mi na juu ni kwa ni serikali na kama ni serikali tani ondoa tani simi peke yangu na ni mahali pa mi mi na ndugu zangu na watu wengi ni ambao tunaishi hapa. Judge Francis Tuyot, who ruled on the matter, finding that the government had no power to determine the question of ownership of this land and should therefore issue compensation to the Masruis should it attempt to acquire the land. Esther Kahumbi, KTM Prime, Mombasa.